Here comes the day of recording. We're all going to check who got radiation and how much. Swimming near the nuclear reactor. 200 microorgans here in the water. What are you doing? Sus, come out quickly. There is a high radiation. No. Sus, where are you going? Alex, have you ever been tested? No, I have never been tested. It will be interesting. Have you checked before? No. What about you? None of us have ever checked it. And did you swallow water when you were swimming? Yes, I swallowed a lot. Now they'll be putting something in my ass, some kind of tongue and groove. Do you also tie up with a wire? Yes. If any of us turned out to be in danger, then we can be forcefully hospitalized in a psychiatric hospital. Damn. If they find any particle, then what will they do? Will they call the police? First of all, you have to tell where you got this particle from. You couldn't just find it on the street. You must have got it from some danger zone, and I'll be also condemned for taking it out of the zone. Wow. Hello, we'd like to get tested for radiation. Radiation? Yes, right. Go straight and left. Okay, thanks. They work until 3 p.m. and it's already 10 past 3. Quiet, we'll sort it out. This is where we need. People's radiation is measured here. Let's go. Sousa's documents will be kept there because he swam in the radioactive water. Good afternoon. Anyone's there? Hello. We were on an excursion in the Chernobyl zone, got into the water the air and now we need to get checked. Okay, come back in an hour while we set up the equipment. How much does this procedure cost? About two dollars. Is it done quickly? Yes. Then all four of us will get checked. Look what things are installed here. Yes, it's from 2007, so the alarm was updated. Guys, leave me your exact first and last names. Okay. Will this data be transferred to law enforcement agencies? This is in case if someone has high radiation sickness. Of course, so that he can't freely walk around the city, he'll be socially dangerous. The police will be arriving now. Are you worried? Yes, a little bit nervous. What if we are high radioactive? Well, looking at this place, you can understand that it's not a conventional building. Yes. There's alarm on every door. Well, what should we write there? First name, last name, year of birth, address, place of work, position, height and weight. Really? This will write Telling that you can sit off his name. In camera, you write Sergey Tracer. Guys, come in here. All together or in turn? You can all come together. Tell me, will it hurt? Stand here and cover these places with your hands and feet. This will show the level of contamination of your hands and feet. I need to see if you brought anything dangerous here. Looks like a serious checkup. Get on the floor. Now the hair has been checked. Maybe you will have to go bald. All right, next. Everything should be fine. Put your hands correctly. Don't leave gaps. Let's go again. Go back and stand again and tightly cover these places with your palms. I have burns on my hands. Okay, I got it. Comrades are playing around. What is it? Oh, wait, wait, don't move. Yeah, it's done. It was a superficial check and now it will be a serious one. This is to ensure that the apparatus is not containment with the surface particles. Well, there are some serious equipment. You can come in. Okay. Sit in the chair. Together? Yes. We just need to sit there? Yes, just sit down. Sit back comfortably and relax. What's your name? Alexander. Now the next two sit down. Are we done already? Yes. Wow. Guys, you have probably noticed that I began to use the new dosimeter spectrometer radio code 101 on a scintillation crystal. It's more than 20 times faster than conventional dosimeter on the Gadger tubes. It is able to measure radiation at every point, even while running. You can record radioactive tracks on Google Maps. And the most amazing thing, it can identify types of radioactive elements. 
The device works up to 20 days on one battery charge. Just put the radio code 101 in your pocket or bag and carry it with you at all the times. If you find yourself in an area with radiation, the device will give a vibration and a sound signal. The body of the dosimeter has good dust and moisture protection. It has a cool mobile app for smartphones and a program for the computer. I will attach a link to this device in the description. So guys, here are your spectra, the red area is the seism area, we're watching it, if there is any radiation on you, then this will be seen by the level of radio seism. Well, what's the report, is it too bad? No, everything is already clean, you have no deviations. All of us are clean? Yes, but not fully. There are some minimum values. What are these values? Look, this is the level from which our device begins to register. For each, this will be a different indicator, depending on how long you sat here and on your weight. Someone has 434 MDA. This device shows that from such an indicator, it begins to register. It shows that you have 591 becquerel cesium with a certain margin of error. That is, this is a minimum value, absolutely insignificant. Is it safe for our health? Absolutely. Even if you constantly maintain this value, although you won't, you will get 0.02 millisievert per year. This is so you understand is less than an hour of an airplane flight. Is it from internal radiation? Yes, it is from your internal radiation. In this case, we measure all the gamma quanta that you have in your body. If the device finds something from you, then such a pick is drawn. This means that there is something in this place. And what does this little pick mean? Well, that's a good question. This is radio potassium. Is that the one in bananas? Exactly. So it's safe. You all learned in school that there are isotopes. Potassium has between 36 and 44. So the isotope potassium 40 is the only 1% in this natural mixture. It's radioactive. It is in our muscles. It turns out that a person is kind of a reactor. He constantly emits gamma quanta of K40. Maybe that's why we exist, because we have it. Radiation in small amounts is life. In large quantities is death. Well, who has the highest? The highest is 590, but this is absolutely not a significant indicator. This is a negligible indicator of radiation. Can you tell me how much it will be dangerous? It's dangerous when here it's 1. One? Yes, that is dangerous, but we have a reference of 0 0.1. Then we start to figure out where it got into the body. It's like 100 times more. Well, of dosimeter showed an accumulated dose of 3,500 micron gans over the air for one and a half days. Where did you go that you accumulated so much? Fifth power unit near the fourth one. Did you walk there with stalkers? Yes. The only thing I'll advise you is to have a general blood test to make sure that it's normal since you have been there for so long. You fell into the water in the inclusion zone. Where? Right next to the reactor? That's why we came here. So that you're completely peaceful, I can look at one person on the camera. What does it mean on camera? Can you see something in detail? Yes. Let's do it then. As you fell into the water, then let's check you. Did you fall in these clothes? No, I've changed them. Okay, take it off and put on the robe. The pic is already shown here. Should I undress completely? Yes. When he got into the water, he didn't ask anything, and now I'll check up, he has so many questions. We'll go over there. Well, is this an electrically operated pressurized door and there is a capsule? We can see here some cool Soviet things. Look, the pressurized door is electrically driven, and that is, it closed automatically. Weight 77 kgs? Yes. Do you know the height for sure? Yes. Shall I go in? Yes. Okay, the rest of the guys, please go out. Don't walk in sneakers here. Wait in the hallway.
I think they should have asked him to take a bath first, there is a shower room. Because if they are a particle, then the apparatus can be infected. How are you doing? Lie on the back. Okay. Relax and lie down for about 5 to 10 minutes. How many tons of lead are there? Can you imagine? This is so that the outside background does not interfere from us, for example. Is everything okay? Are you not afraid of a confined space? No. Then rest for 10 minutes. There was a superficial examination on the chair and this apparatus will now check everything to the core. I saw the air container of thick lead where the particles are stored. Where? I didn't see. It's over there. Are there particles? Yeah, let's go and see. Here in the container, in the container. Yeah, see, do you think that if they find it, then they put it here and store it so that it doesn't radiate? And what they find, they put it here, for example, on the port, that is from some kind of graphite. Guys, come in. Shall we all come in? Alexei, is everything all right? Yes. Lie down, don't get up. Look, here is the area of cesium, this point. Well, this is a lot of gas. <laughs> it's nothing at all. There is no deviation. Here is its potassium. Everything is clean here. There are some minimum indicators. As clean as a baby. Mm -hmm. That's right. Before you here, a woman was tested for iodine, so she had a huge peak here on this register. So if all check this way, then everyone will be completely clean? Yes. So basically there is no requirement for any further test? Yes, I'm checking you because some tourists came to us after the official tour to Chernobyl and they left their sneakers here because there was a big hot particles there. You should know if you are going there, then wear old clothes that you won't use later. Well, what can you drink to calm down psychologically, maybe iodine? Why? Why iodine? Actually, on official excursion, they say that after a while you need to eat seaweed, your marine and take the other palm to calm down. Well, you can take that as a palm, but I think it's not necessary. Better drink peppermint tea. I hope not from Chernobyl one. You can pick it up from the flower bed outside. So guys, you don't have any problems at the moment. The results are fine. But I'd suggest you to avoid going to such places. Sure, I'm not going to the Chernobyl anymore. I'd better go to the sea. So are you glad that there is no radiation? Yes, but I still want to do a blood test. Going to Chernobyl is like going to a war. How's Alexei there? For some reason, he is silent there. There are such scary sensors. So I'm giving you your results. Okay. Be healthy and be careful. What about the fee? How much do we owe? Twelve dollars per person. All right. And for the examination, the capsule? Well, that's on you, how much you want. I'll put them in our charity fund. Can you please give us your contact number? We can get through to you. Yes, yeah, sure. So it's better not to deal with stalkers? Of course not, guys. There are many official tour operators now. They will guide you where you need to. And that's expensive. Also, yeah, health is more important. Did the checkup cost you less? Actually, stalkers take less money. But what about the fact that you haven't slept, that you will drink mint tea to calm down, you will also go for a blood test? I've taken the other palm. But why do you take such strong medicines? I see no reason. Anyways, thank you so much. Take care, guys, and be careful. You're a very good specialist, thanks. <laughs> so according to the results, everything is okay with us, but if you ever go to such places, always go with a dosimeter or look around very carefully, because any small mistake can lead you into a big trouble. Do everything smartly. Be sure to maintain good hygiene, wash your hands, and do not eat berries and mushrooms on the Chernobyl zone, otherwise it will be hell. You can don't swim in any water bodies there. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching us.